What's up, YouTube? We're going to be doing another episode of Space Agency in the Sandbox. This is Season 5, Episode 2. So let's get into it. So last time we were playing, we had gotten a oxygen garden up into our space station, as you can see right here. And so yeah, we got a lot of stuff pretty much done. Um, we got a lot of stuff done while we were first episode. So now that we got all this done, and by the way, go in the description of the last episode, episode one, season five, and uh, download that world, okay? Because it's pretty cool. Finally got the space station. Um, it does not work for Apple unless you've completed the mission. So you have to complete mission 30 to even get to use the um, thing. Um, sorry guys. Um, but yeah. So this episode, what we're going to be doing today is using our tug module and going over to MSS and dragging it all the way over here and connecting it to our hub right there. So first step um, is to get our tug module and obviously we don't have a lot of uh, gas so what I figured I was going to do today is actually send a uh, large refuel silo so we can have plenty of fuel to move around because I know our space shuttle is going to need it. So first thing we need to do, get on here, oop I'm sorry. When you get the this set up, so the large or the the refuel silo is right here. Station refuel silo. It's pretty big. It's medium. It weighs a ton. I'm telling you, more than a ton actually. <laughs> but anyways, this is what we're gonna be taking up space. So let's get ready to launch. T minus twenty seconds. Five. Four, three, engine start. One, booster ignition and lift off. Power clear. So as we're going to get up to space, we're going to attach it to the bottom side of the spacecraft, um, or of the uh, hub. Or uh, if you want the hub, um, roll program. the right side will be considered towards the shuttle, and then the bottom side will be obviously the bottom. to launch and get ready to get out of Earth's orbit head over to SS1 spin around attach this over on the end or on the bottom of it and then we'll be able to refill the tug and go over to MSS drag MSS to oh, down to there. drag the MSS uh, station to the SS1 station and I mainly wanted to do that is because we already have all those parts are already over at the MSS, so why not bring them to the SS-1 instead of having to bring them all up on rockets. And we're almost, almost there. Probably should have slowed down a little bit later, or not have slowed down as much. I did turn the uh, music on again mainly because I figured it would be kind of just good background noise. Just 
we're lining up pretty good, actually. I oh, didn't mean that. Go like this. So we can turn. Okay. Almost good. Almost. Spinning. I would spin. And. Good. Payload released. Power. And of course, we can't get Earth below. That's why I put it at the bottom mainly. Okay. So now we got everything hooked up. We're actually going to fill everything up. So we're going to have the shuttle filled up. And we'll disconnect it once we're full. We're not going to fill that up anymore. No need to. So we don't need that hooked up. We don't need that hooked up. We can leave this hooked up. Okay. Now what we're going to do... Wait, were we draining from this? Well, yeah, we were. We'll actually keep it going. Okay. We're going to bring this bad boy over here. Turn... Now that we're hooked up, we're gonna let our batteries charge real quick. Docking successful. And we'll get some juice. So we'll charge everything up at the same time. So let's hope these these don't charge very fast. I don't think. We need some solar panels. We only really have one set of solar panels, and those aren't even enough to do anything. So. We'll definitely need to get some real solar panels out very soon. What I'm expecting to do is get some a control room here, and then we'll build off towards the left again, adding different hubs. Okay, we're now connected. Detach the fuel line. Don't need to worry about electrical line. Disconnect. Okay, we'll stop. Spin around towards MSS and we'll go over there. Come on. It takes a lot of fuel to do this, that's why I'm not using a lot. Get up to about green. When we get about to 90, that's when I'll start to slow down. <clears throat> so, guys, hope you're liking the new season so far. Um, so I, hope, I hope it's pretty good. I can't wait to go around, um, doing the moon or heading to the loon um, with the shuttle. Go around there. Um, and what I'm actually thinking about doing is actually using the shuttle to go we're gonna land on the moon with a lunar uh lander and ascender module and once we've ascend ascended and gotten out of the atmosphere we will use the shuttle and we'll go over to the shuttle and dock and then we'll go back to the ss1 i think that's like the best plan to do i think it'll be the most interesting Man, it's a little slow. Probably should have went a little faster. I think we're going like one meter a second right now. And we're 50 away. Oh, man. Speed up a little bit. Almost there. So once we're there, what we're going to do is attach to the 
far side right there, the only hub available. And we'll drag it on back. Okay, almost there. So here it is. If you're wondering what MSS stands for, it stands for Mystery Space Station. It's for one of the missions. I cannot remember which one. Pretty sure it's one of the um, quicker ones you do. I think you just have to take pictures or something of it. I'm not really sure. Kidoke, we are docked. Open it up to the power source. And, whoa, okay. Docking um, successful. Hmm. Didn't realize that was going to happen. We'll open all the doors except for the main doors right there. Because, uh, obviously, I don't think anyone's, or I'm pretty sure, um, this isn't going to give enough out because it looks like they only have one. Yep, see, it's the lowest it is, so we're definitely going to go and grab, put it back into the station, get up a uh, resupply module full of um, one at least one battery and some equipment, some air and carbon. So now we're going to turn around. Nope. So you can kind of see that's how slow it is when turning. And we'll also get ADS to come over here. ADS is a, um, it's just literally uh, all the sensor parts on a rocket. It's got a resupp resupply module hooked up to it. So I think using the resupply module, we might be able to get it over in time. Maybe we'll just send the tug out or something. Because I don't think there's enough uh, spaces on the um, on the thing that'll give us like the right the right um, symmetrical weight balance. Uh, so we'll go like offside and everything. So as you can see, this is pretty balanced out. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that. The science module and the sensor wings are, or the solar wings or whatever, are one of those um, close together weights and weight. So that's why it's not really, not really a problem. So we're getting close, around 80. We're going to slow down. And I probably shouldn't even slow down that fast. Looks like we're going to need to go. Re-angle it that way. We're not going to hit it. Okay. Getting closer. Again, we're going to dock it to the top. And how it's going to work is, well, we're going to push it. I'm going to get, I'm going to detach the uh, shuttle and then push from the bottom of the fuel silo. Oh, gosh. There we go. To the rest of it. So we're coming in. Okay, so again, what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do is, um, we're gonna slow down here. Spin, stop, get a little closer, stop. Oh gosh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, crap, okay. The wings on this thing are gonna cause the solar panels not to fit right. Okay, this is gonna be quick thinking, detach, detach. 
Oh, that's going out of power. Look at it, it's flickering. Oh crap. Um, okay, transfer. Oh no, no. Transfer battery. Transfer another battery. Okay. That does not need a dock. We're gonna detach this. Gonna boost a little farther down. Just get out of the way for a second. Okay, once we're done there, jump over here. We're going to detach. Let me make sure I have nothing, no fuel lines or anything uh, connected. Okay, so we're going to detach. Go on to this, connect there. And we'll spin the um, we'll spin it around to where it's in an L shape, and we'll push it up into there. Okay. Almost. Come on, almost there. And connect it again. Okay, so we're gonna actually need to go a little farther that way. Successful. Yeah, so that's basically how powerful the tug is. It's able to push all this with it being off centered, obviously. <laughs> it's pretty off centered. So now we're going to attach the space shuttle to. Let me see. We'll attach it to the. I'm trying to figure some somewhere that has air. Uh, man. Let's actually leave the shuttle over here. For now, we're actually going to connect it. That way, it has electricity rolling in through it. And we'll. And it'll charge up the batteries. Okay. That, okay. So now the batteries. Docking successful. Hopefully, they're charging. Oh no, they, they are not going to be charging because that's not on. Okay. Now they should be charging and we're going to need to put those over here. So we're going to move them over here. Go here. Drag that one over. Transfer this one. Grab this one. Transfer the new one to that. Wait for the old one to be finished. Okay, I'll transfer it over again. Move it back over here. Why is it trying to drop over? There it goes. Okay, so this is still dead. So we're gonna transfer this one. Okay. So now we got all that going. Let's check on our batteries. They're charging. Great. Those are charged. So everything's charging because, as you can see, we have plenty of solar panels um, on this. So now we've got to add a control room and a another hub. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this episode. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, tell me what you think about it so far and what we should do and what we should add next. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.